Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be testing out the new DJI low noise props. Are they really worth it? Do they really make a difference? Well this is how we're going to test it out. What we've got today is we've got the Mavic set up with the original props on. Running on the iPad there we have a sound meter. Now this is not a professional sound meter, it's not calibrated, but it will show us the difference between the two sets of props. So what we'll do is we'll take the drone off, we'll let it hover at about one meter, we'll measure the sound, we'll then take it up, we'll take it up to 10 meters, to 50 meters, and then to 100 meters, and measure the sound at the same time. We'll bring it back down, we'll swap it out for the new props, and we'll see if these really make a difference. If this is your first time here, please do click the subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you won't miss out on any of the other videos we're going to be producing. It's such a lovely day, I think we've got to get the drone in the air. So there we are, hovering at about one, one and a half meters, and we're recording the sound onto the meter. I'm going to shut up for a second so I can take a measurement. Okay, let's push it up to 10 meters. Okay, we're at 10 meters, time for a measurement. Time for 50. That's 50. Time for a hundred. That's a hundred meters. For those of you with a keen eye, you might be able to hear a light aircraft in the area. The light aircraft is currently over there and it's heading away from me, so there's no worries about it. I think he's significantly higher than 100 meters anyway. But that's 100 meters, so let's take our final, uh, final reading at 100 meters and see what the noise is. Okay, let's bring it down and change out for the new props. I know this is going to sound like I'm teaching you to suck eggs, but when you get the new props, make sure you order two sets because only two blades come in each box. So you're going to need four, obviously, um, so make sure you order two. I'm sure you all know this already, but just to be sure, the blades go on to specific ones. So you can see there are some blades with a white hub and there are some blades with a black hub. And also the ones with the white hub on the corresponding motor have these white marks around the outside. So white hub to white motor, opposite corners, black hub to black motors. Real simple. Okay, so that's the new blades attached. So they do feel a little flimsier at the tips. And as you can see, the end of the tip is, is bent over. This is supposed to reduce the, the speed at the tip of the blade and make it a little quieter. So what we'll do now is we'll put the drone back in exactly the same position. Now with any new set of blades, I like to just hover the drone for a moment. So I'm going to take it up to a meter and I'm just going to let it sit there just in case there's any sort of failure um, that becomes apparent once they're under stress. Please check it on the map. And we're ready to go. So press to take off. <laughs> So there we are, we're at about a meter, a meter and a half. Um, we're just gonna let the drone sit there just to make sure there are no issues with the new blades before I take it up. I gotta say, I can't really tell the difference at this altitude, um, but we'll let the decibel meter tell us. So let's take a measurement now. Okay, push it up to 10 meters.
That's 10 metres. Let's take a measurement. Okay, here we go to 50. There we are, 50 metres. Now, it's not noticeably quieter, but the pitch is different. I can hear a subtly different tone in the blades. Now that just might make the sound a little bit more natural, it sort of blends in a little better, but it doesn't sound any quieter. Okay, onwards to 100. At 100 metres, it does seem ever so slightly quieter, but not hugely. Let's take a measurement now. Okay, I've got an air ambulance in the air, so I'm gonna bring the drone back down. Um, he's not coming towards me, but I don't wanna give him any cause to, for concern. So we'll come down. But I can't say I really think they are that noticeably lower volume. Ever so slightly, maybe. Just slightly different tone, but I don't hear it. But the meter will tell. So when we go back and look at the video, we'll be able to tell on the meter what that volume change is. Well, what do you think? They do seem to have an effect. The meter actually shows a reduction in volume and a slightly different cha a change in the pitch. Now, it's not huge. You wouldn't expect to be able to suddenly go silent on you. This is not some sort of stealth aircraft, but they do have an effect. So if you are looking to buy new blades, I would buy these ones over the old ones.